This three hours, Governor Gavin Newsom will lay out his spending ideas for this year's state budget. And once again, he's working with a big surplus. KCRA 3's Mike Desell live now at the state capitol with a look at what the governor may prioritize. But Mike, this isn't a done deal by any means. No, because, you know, this is really just the opening salvo in the budget negotiations. This is uh, the governor's reveal, as it's called. He will uh, reveal his spending plan, and then it kicks off the months of negotiations until lawmakers have to finalize a budget deal by the June 15th deadline. But as you mentioned, there's a pretty big gift underneath the Christmas tree this year, and that is another budget surplus, 31 Billion dollars is the predicted surplus. Uh, surplus. So, how is the governor planning to spend some of that money? Well, we know from published reports that the governor is planning to spend 2.7 billion dollars, continuing to respond to the surge in COVID-19 cases, and that includes money to increase vaccination rates as well as to combat misinformation. Separately, the governor's already talked about dedicating some $300 million to combat an increase in organized retail theft across the state. That money would go to law enforcement to uh, strategize on how to deal with that. And on a smaller scale, he's also talked about $100 million to address litter and clean up the state. Now back out here live about that $31 billion budget surplus. Why do we have that surplus? Well, the state explained that uh, the tax revenues from personal income taxes, sales taxes and corporate taxes, all much higher than anticipated. In fact, 40% higher than September of 2020. So I guess you could say symbolically, since the Christmas tree is still up at the state capitol, that surplus is a gift underneath the tree. And today we'll find out how the governor would spend that money if it was entirely up to him. Live at the state capitol, Mike Sell, KCRA 3 News.